sorry. We're just we're just talking we're, we're about just, politics. We're just talking shop here. The thing is, we were we were talking about the 2016, which I'm sure you love to talk about because everybody does. We're, we're, what press are you from? I'm with the Citizens Media TV. I was actually a Bernie delegate. In 2016. Yeah, he yeah. was. Yeah, well, what that was that was one of the things that we were discussing here is that we, uh, my my wife and I, her her older boy, uh, who's who's uh, who's a Democratic Socialist of belongs to the DSA, he. He's the type of he's the type of millennial that it was Bernie or nothing. So now, we had this ongoing argument that I said to him that I would argue back and forth with him that you have to take little steps. So they did not once Bernie was out they did not want to vote. So so they did not vote for Hillary. So so in many ways all the other things that were stacked against the Democrats that was that was one huge thing along with all the other things and that's why yeah. we have this nightmare that's happening right but on, now. On the other hand though, I mean but here's the thing, there's, like, if you ask, why didn't Hillary win? There's, like, th that's one thing right. that would have made a difference. Right. But there's, like, a half a dozen lot. other things. Yes, absolutely. If, if that still happened, I but if, the eight -year thing. If, if Hillary had gone to Wisconsin and Michigan, right. that maybe, maybe would have made the difference. Maybe. If, you know, there's, there's tons and tons and tons of things that you can name as being responsible. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, th there isn't any one thing. But, yeah, like, like we were saying... Essentially, in, our, in any of our lifetimes, there's only been one time that one party held the White House for more than two terms, and that was Reagan and Bush in the 80s. And we were, d despite that, we came really close to doing it again. Um, so, you know, it's not... That's true. And, you know, there are people who are looking at that defeat and saying, this sh clearly shows the Democrats are on the wrong track and we need to completely revamp everything we do. No, it's, it's not true. That's no, like saying not. the Atlanta Falcons should fire their entire coaching staff right, because, because they, they lost win. the Super Bowl right, by three points. I, I, I'd like to follow up with something you were just saying. They didn't vote for Hillary because why? Well, because Bernie was their choice, and a lot of certainly, certainly, uh, my, my stepson and a lot of and a lot of his contemporaries do not believe that the Democrats are doing things in their best interest. They're they they're tired of the Democrats doing the same old. Playbook stuff. Do you find that a Do you find that a reasonable Do you find that a reasonable point of view? Well, certainly, I would like to be as progressive as possible. I don't know that that's reality, but it, well, it, I would argue it might not be reality because people like you say that it's not reality, right. and so yes. therefore I won't vote for exactly. it. Exactly. That, that's 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 my stepson Zachary's point of view and his and his contemporary. They feel like yeah, like enough is enough. You know, like Bernie was saying. So so. If the Democratic Party doesn't move move more to the left and become more progressive, then it's just going to be the same old jazz. Even even if we do win next time around, which is a good possibility, it's just going to be the same old Democratic Party. We need newer, fresher people with, you, you with fresher were just, ideas. You were just saying a moment ago that don't take too big of steps, take smaller steps, right? It's my own personal view because I'm old and I, I mean, even though in my day, I mean, I, I'm a Vietnam vet, I came home and there was demonstrations and, and civil rights was flaring and it was just craziness going on and, and we had a good opportunity to really move even more into a, in a progressive direction, but we didn't. We, we went part of the way and then, and then just, for whatever, just faded away. Now... With with Trump and 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 the and this crime family that's in that's in the White House, along with a lot of people in Congress on both sides, Democratic and Republican side, who are in the pocket of big money. Uh, I mean, you, anything you read uh, economically by any by any intellectual who really knows what they're talking about uh, will, will tell you that that this is the new Gilded Age, and I believe all of that. But how do we get there? I mean, is, but, is, is my is my stepson's way and the, the way to go, or is, is, is baby steps the way to go? I don't know. But ultimately, yeah. I think you agree that the destination is what you both agree on. It's just the speed on getting there, right? I would like, I'd like to get there as, as soon as possible, for but sure. You're say, but you're, uh, it sounds to me like you're contradicting yourself. You're saying, I want to get there as soon as possible, but we have to take baby steps. But, you know, because right. you, right. you're, 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 you said that you're old, so you, you, you're afraid. I would, I would go with my way. So there's one side of it of defeating the bad, and there's the other side of it of let's so finally get what we old, deserve. The old playbook of the lesser of the two evils. I'm lesser of two like evils the is one side of it, and the other side is let's finally so shoot for what. Supporter, right? the, I am a huge so Bernie I can, supporter. I, I, was a Bernie, I was a delegate at the so DNC. I can ask you, if, when, did you vote for Hillary when Bernie didn't make it? I did vote for Hillary. Well, you answer my question. 
but I regret it, and I won't do that again. But who would you, so you would have stayed home. So, no, so Trump no, no. would have had an even bigger win? I mean, I don't know. You know that, that's, the, that's the dilemma that we're in right now in this country. But why did we have that dilemma to begin with? Why did we have that reasons. choice? For, for a lot of reasons. So it's it from my point of view. Mandarin, uh, the electoral college. How about the media, what what responsibility the does Russians, the, I mean, what responsibility does the Democratic Party have? The, what in what in, in, in what way? I mean, the, I mean, in enabling a situation where Trump is possible. Well, we're m mobilizing the base. They have to get people out. Turnout is such a horrible thing. I mean, you, you said in retrospect you would you wouldn't have voted for Hillary. You would have stayed home. Or maybe, uh, or maybe wrote somebody in, right? I, I made the decision after vote. I voted for Hillary not because I liked Hillary, but as an anti-Trump vote. As, a, as, a, as the lesser of the two evils, right? I mean, Correct. I mean, you have to say that. I mean, see I mean, you later. I, I mean, a lot of people don't, don't want don't want to really admit that, but I think that that's but, what it is, you know. Wait, well, uh, say as as the lesser of the two evils. But my point of view is, my voting for the lesser of two evils enables a situation where campaigns, where parties can say, I don't have to worry about pleasing him. All I have to do is point to someone that's worse, and then I'll make him vote for me. And, and it forces me into a position where I have to vote for less two good. So therefore, so therefore, no, I would choose to only vote for someone that I like as opposed to dislike less. You know, uh, and, and so you could blame people like me for Trump, or you could blame the party for putting us in a situation where we have to choose between two abusers, which I know is an exaggeration, no, no, but you I, get I, my point. You know, I, do, I do understand your point. And the other thing, uh, here's, here's another important point, that when you, you know, not, not to try to get into the minutia of it, but, the, but, the, but this down ballot uh, theory that, that they have where, you, where, you could, where, where there's several people on and you vote, you're probably aware of this, right? Where, where if there's several people on, and who gets the higher percentage of the vote is the one that is the one that actually wins that that district, or and then you go from there. So we we have the whole electoral system is really really bad. If, if, I'm probably preaching to the choir. You're probably aware of it. You know, I mentioned gerrymandering and and the electoral college. The electoral college. Well, I, I, I mean, the, electoral, the electoral college is just an absolute travesty, really. I, I, mean, I agree that it's a bad thing, but really if we had a really good candidate. It wouldn't have been a factor. No, but 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 it, but it, the system as it stands now, along with the gerrymandering, allows bad bad, bad, bad candidates and even some somebody like like this criminal Trump to get in. You know, so I mean we're we're politically in a bad way in this country. You know, when you when you talk to when I I, I had a conversation earlier. Uh, I, I still work part time, and so some of the young people that I work with, when you when you question them about, are they, you know, uh, during the last election, are you engaged? Are you? A lot of them don't even vote, don't even know what's going on. So we we need to educate our people. I don't know, better or or more, uh, you know, comprehensively, so they'll become good citizens and actually vote. You probably voted the first opportunity you were able to vote, right? How old are you? I'm 46. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll be 70 on my next birthday. I voted from when I was when I was able to vote, you know. At, at 18 but I, I wasn't. I I was not awake, politically aware, until Bernie Sanders. Oh really? So you were prior to that? But, well, no, no. Voted, I, vo right? I voted, voted, but it was just blindly Democrat because that's what I was told to do. And right, but right. I was not awake. But at least you were still voting. You know, at least I was you voting, but I, but it was just because people were telling me what to do. But now I'm actually Bernie Sanders woke me and many other people up. Bernie, Bernie, was, Bernie was terrific, and, uh, and I, I support any, any progressive, because I'm a progressive at heart. Uh, so what if he runs in 2020? I would vote for Bernie. Too old? No, I, I think that if, 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 uh, as long as That's he's... That's what they're trying to frame him as, as too as old. As he's physically able to do it, and you know he has all his wits about him, which I, I would hope that he does. It certainly seems to. My theory is maybe he is too old. Maybe he will die in office. But I'd rather have a good guy die in office any, any. than a horrible guy last the whole term. Well, I mean, th there's no doubt about that. That's that's a no-brainer. But, but I think another thing that we have to do is like is is which is so important is the grassroots part of things. Like we like number one, we got to get this guy out.